I'm going to show you how to install the new infrared laser module on the WeCreate Vision. One of the concerns I've heard most about this new IR laser module is that it looks too difficult to swap out. I cut out just the installation portion from my last unboxing, installation, and review video so you can see a quick installation video without any of the extra info. The whole process of switching out the diode laser with the infrared laser takes about four minutes in this video. It really comes down to just unscrewing six screws with an Allen wrench and popping in a ribbon cable. It's not that hard. If you want to see the full unboxing and review video, including some projects I've made with the new infrared laser, check out that last video on my YouTube channel. We need to swap out the diode laser with the infrared laser. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your machine is off. Then you can pull this up and drag it all the way over to the right. This little black part right here flips up just like that. And then you can pull out this little white strip just like that. Next, you want to grab your Allen wrench because on the back of the laser module, there's four screws, one, two, and then there's two more down here. So take your Allen wrench and then we're going to unscrew these four screws. Make sure you don't lose these screws because you're going to need them to attach the new laser module. Now we're gonna gently lower this onto the bed. So right down here, there's a zip tie. We need to snip that zip tie. Be careful not to damage this tube because this is your air assist tube. And then we're gonna unscrew this. Now we can remove the laser head. This is how the old laser head looks compared to the new one. So the old one is a little bit smaller. In case you're wondering, the heads look like this. So let's see how to install this. So you want to take this metal piece and slide it all the way over. And then on the back of here, you'll see four little screw holes. One, two, three, four. That's where we screw those four screws that we just unscrewed from the other laser head back in. So we need to slide this into the slot. If this is hitting, you just got to move it over a little bit, just like that. Should fit nice and snug. And then grab your screw, and we're just going to get it started a little bit to hold it in place, and I'll tighten them all after. This last one's a little tricky because you can't see it, so you just kind of got to feel. And then we can tighten them all up. Perfect. Now we're going to grab this little white cable and slide it in here as far as you can. There's a little slot closer to the top of it. And then once you get it in as far as it goes, push down this little black piece. And give it a little tug, make sure it's secure. Then we're going to work over on this side. So this little plug right here, we're just going to pull out. Just like that. Then we're going to pop up this little black piece and pull out this ribbon cable. And then we're going to grab our Allen wrench and unscrew these two pieces. Now we can pull out this little piece and make sure you don't lose this because this is what you need when you want to swap your diode laser back in. So every time you want to go back and forth between the diode and the infrared laser, this is what you need to do. There's this little metal piece right here. You kind of got to slide it underneath there so that the holes line up. Now we can slide this back in here. If you're trying to get this in the hole and you can't, make sure you flip up this little black flap. Then you can slide it in. Once you get it in as far as you can, flip that little black flap back down. Give it a little tug, make sure it's secure. And we're going to grab this and plug it back into here. Perfect. You don't need the air assist with the infrared laser, so we're just going to leave this as is. Now we're going to connect it to the computer and start making some cool stuff. This is where it says the laser is connected. If it says 2 watt, that means that the 2 watt laser is connected. 
You can go to the settings and turn the air assist to off because we're not going to be using it with this module. To learn more about this new IR laser head and see some laser engraving projects I've made with it, watch the full video coming up next.